In this video, we're going to implement Twitter button tap. And for that, I will switch to my sign in with a Twitter button um, installation instructions and uh, scroll down to login and sign up. And here is the function that we can use to let users sign in with their Twitter account. So I will simply I'll first switch uh, to Swift tab here rather than Objective C, and I'll copy this function and I will paste it to my Twitter button tapped uh, function. And what basically is happening here is we're using a parse object Twitter utils and we're calling log in with block on that object. And what will happen then, um, parse will uh, prompt a user to sign in with their Twitter account and once user provides their correct username and password, if everything is okay, I mean, anyways, the completion handler will trigger uh, this block. And if user successfully signed in, then a user object, parse user object, will be populated with parse user details. And um, if user could not sign in, if an error took place, we will have an error object and we can uh, read the description of that object. So basically, if user was successfully, uh, user was able to successfully sign in or sign up, we'll have a user object and we will check if user object is not now, then we can check if this user is new, meaning if this is the first time users sign in with their Twitter account, then we will have a new record created in our parse users class. And this will be true is new will return true and uh, we know that user signed up and we have a new user otherwise if user is not new then we know that um, this is a returning user and um, we can process that user as a returning else if user is not um, uh, now and there is no error then we know that user simply canceled their login they changed their mind and we can process that uh, situation uh, separately so what I will do for this video, I will um, implement these two situations. For example, if user is new, then we will uh, process user object. And uh, if user is not new, we will also process user object and we will use uh, the same function for that. Uh, and I will call a function, I will declare a function below something like uh, process Twitter user and I will call this uh, same function from both of these places self process Twitter user and here self process Twitter a user okay so now let's implement uh, this function process Twitter user 